Hello everybody. Hope everyone's doing fantastic, feeling good. Hope feeling you're feeling excited. I hope you're appreciating all the blessings that you have. Welcome to the Paul Cruz Show. I have a phenomenal topic to share with you today. And I hope you receive it, embrace it, and more importantly, you think about it, and then you take the right action. Before we dig into the topic, if you're watching this podcast on YouTube, hit the subscription button below. Do share your comments because it does help the algorithm and also share the video with others. Now let's dig into this topic. What I want to talk about is two things in life that will never change. That you have to deal with every single day. That you can't ignore because even if you do, it's still going to happen. So... It's better that you do understand it so that you can deal with it better. What am I talking about? Cause and effects. Two things in life. No ways around it. Now, everything that happens in life, every decision we make, every action we take, there's something that causes us to do that. Right? No matter what it is. So, if you think about cause, the cause is the thought that enters your mind or your mindset. The effects is the results or the actions or the attitude of the thought. Because I said before, your thoughts or your actions are tied to your thoughts. Now, where am I going with this? I'm sure a lot of you have some experiences in the past that you made some bad decisions and you had bad effects, right? The cause was your the cause was your thought. The effect was the action you took. Let's get a little more dramatic or a little more realistic about the way the world is, about the way things are. No one ever grows up as a kid and decides, you know what? Today I want to be, I want to be a prostitute, or I want to be a drug dealer, or I want to be a murderer, or a rapist, or any of those things, a bank robber, right? No one ever thinks about that. No one ever grows up saying, "That's what I want to be." But yet we find people that wind up becoming that. Why? What was the cause? The cause is many things. It's movies. Is music, is what we indoctrinated with, is the things that we see and hear, that it becomes part of our life, it becomes part of our way of thinking. That's some of the causes. And once you start to think that way and start to believe that, you start to justify it, and guess what? You take the action, which is the effect. Let's talk about business. If your business is failing and it's not working or it's not going the way you should, well, there was causes for that. Sometimes things just happen and there's no cause, it just happens. But most of the time it's the cause. The people you may hire that are not the right people. The people that should not be there are there. Maybe not getting rid of bad apples or bad employees because you're afraid of lawsuit. That's the cause. Salespeople, why your sales are not uh, consistent is maybe the way you train, the way you think, your lack of understanding of sales, the lack of understanding of your what it means to be a professional salesman. Why do people create murder? I won't get into the spiritual aspect of it because it's deeper than what you know. But the bottom line is this. When you start to think about something all the time or you start to see it all the time and you allow it to enter your mind, eventually there's going to be situations that are going to open up for you to take that action. So it just doesn't happen overnight. It's something that's, it's a process. I'll give you another example. These forest fires in California or in Arizona or in Colorado, what causes that? It could be somebody lighting a match, it could be the heat, it could be a combination of things, right? It could be just the fact that they don't clean out the trees that fall, the leaves that fall, and they start to burn in the summertime, right? Create a fire. 
when the, the inferno didn't just happen to become an inferno, something caused it to take place. When a team wins, there was a cause that made them win. They were more prepared. What about when teams are losing? What they do is they go back to basic fundamental. What's the cause of them losing consistently? Many factors. So in life, there's cause and effects. The question is, are you asking yourself what the causes are of the problems you have or may have? About the results you're not happy with. Right. What is the cause of that? There could be many causes. It could be excuses. It could be not the right uh, training, not the right process. There's many factors. But there's always cause and effects. You jump off a 10 story foot building without a parachute, you're going to die, right? You jump out of a plane without a parachute, you're going to die, right? Just the way it is. So think about that cause and effects. Whether it's your personal life, your business life, your sales life, whether you're an athlete, an entertainer, a boxer, it doesn't matter. There's always cause, there's always effects. You commit adultery, right? What caused you to do that? There was thoughts in your mind. The time was right, you took advantage and you did it. Now, the effects could be devastating. You lose your family, you lose your job, you lose your honor, integrity, all of those things. The cause was your action, which was committing adultery. Doing drugs, the same thing. Gambling, the same thing. All of these things, everything we do in life, there's a cause and an effect. No ways around that. I make a conscious effort every single day to understand before I take an action, how's my thoughts? Because the way I think is the way I'm gonna take action. And I wanna make sure that the cause of my thoughts and my mind is gonna give me the right attitude to take the right action, to get the right results and not make excuses. So always, the cause starts with your mind. How you think, what you allow to come into your mind is the cause. The effect is the action and the results that we accumulate or that we get when we take that action. No ways around that. Does that make sense? So all of you business owners, entrepreneurs, salespeople out there, just ask yourself a simple question. What is the cause of X, Y, Z? What do I do about it? How do I get better results? And be honest with yourself. The Paul Cruz show, as I mentioned many times, is about asking yourself simple yet powerful questions and then taking actions on that. You know, I'm not here to speak about what wants to hear or what people want to hear. I'm here to speak what needs to be said. That's why I have this show. So just think about that, guys. Um, before we leave, I want to thank everyone who's been following me on my, my YouTube channel and subscribing to my YouTube channel and commenting. I do appreciate that. And again, if you're watching this on YouTube for the first time, hit the subscription button below. Do share your comments and share the video podcast with others. And until we speak again, I say goodbye. And remember this, cause and effects. What are you doing about it? Have a great day. Bye for now.